Hi friends. In a video a couple of weeks ago, I said that one of my projects was to work on the roof, and I thought that's what this video was going to be about today. We are working on the roof. That's Jose there, cleaning, and uh, we've got all of that stuff that was on the roof put over there. We've gotten the solar heating mats all disassembled and taken off of the main roof and they put the first of two coats on the roof today uh, tomorrow morning when this is good and dry we'll do a second coat and that ought to hold it for a while they all have red roofs and I have a white roof why do I have a white roof when everybody else has a red roof? Well, I think that if you get a tiny little crack and a little bit of moisture under it, that the red heats up. They did this part too in the top of the tower. And we need a second coat in there too. And we'll do all of this when we get the solar mats put back up on the roof. Uh, I think that white doesn't get as hot as red. So if you get a little crack and a little moisture under it. The red heats up and uh, bubbles it up. That's what I think anyway. Um, it's not a matter of heat getting through to the house because the roof is, well you can see how thick the roof is. It's uh, a foot of concrete so there's no heat radiating down into the room below. Anyway, as I said up there, I thought this video was going to be about fixing the roof, but uh, last week I asked all of you if you could give me some ideas about videos, and I read you my list of proposed ideas for videos, and guess what? The universe trumped us all, giving me a very good reason to go and show you the new hospital on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Lynn fell down and broke a rib. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So I'm sitting here editing this and I put in that usual thing that I put in there about please enjoy what's on my mind today. Uh, you don't have to enjoy me taking my wife to the hospital with a broken rib. Well, I've just dropped Lynn off at the front door of the new hospital in San Antonio. She fell down and we think she's got a cracked rib. As a matter of fact, we know she's got a cracked rib because we went to Moscow's clinic and got an x-ray. She's got a crack in... On the left side of number five, counting from the top down. This is a new hospital. It's not even fully developed yet. It's the Hospital San Antonio, and it's in San Antonio Tlaocapan, which is between Ajijic and Chapala. Over here is going to be some retail space, a Guadalajara Farmacia, Farmacia Guadalajara. It's a very nice looking place. You want a pillow? Where are you going? I want to sit in a chair that I can sit in. Okay, try that one over there. Or do you want me to go get one of your pillows? No. Oh. You're more comfortable in the metal chair? Or maybe this one here, huh? So let me explain what's going on here. We had gotten an x-ray at the old Moscaris clinic and um, we're told that the x-ray machine here was not working yet, that it wasn't fully installed. The doctor was not <laughs> totally aware of that so he's taking us down here to get another x-ray and he's going to find out that the x-ray machine here is not fully installed. 
It's a brand new hospital. It's only been open a very short time. And so what happens is that we have to go back to the other place, which is about a mile away, and get two more x-rays. The first one was too oblique to see what he wanted to see, and it turns out in the end that it wasn't rib number five, it's number seven. So we went down there, got two more x-rays, and came back. And it's not just a crack. It is uh, separated. It's uh, a bad break in rib number seven. OK. It's a long time without seeing you. Uh -huh. You have gained a lot of weight. Yes, I have. Thank well, you for noticing. Do you have a chart in there yet? Yeah. Well, well, it's a computer. Well, so let me ask you a question. Did you actually remember what she looked like, or did you look at the chart? <laughs> no, no, I remember. <laughs> I have to look at the chart. I need to have the name, otherwise you won't. Uh, oh, okay. Give me the. the Thing. Now the last time uh, I saw you was in 2008, 11 years ago. Yes. Was that? 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Oh. Okay. Then you said that you fall down last night from the bed? Um, I'm not sure from the bed. I think from the bed and I hit. We're not sure. She's not sure, but I think she was, might have been like sleep, sleepwalking sleep. or something. I think she was walking, fell down, and hit the corner of the wood part of the bed. And then you hit the back or the front or the side? It was the side that hurt so bad and the side here. Okay, and you have pain, obviously? Yes. Okay. What are the normal medicines that you're taking? Well, did you tell me that your wife is a pediatrician? Yes. And she's going to have an office here as well? Yes. What right are the next door in the building, right next door. So, you have a lot of space still to be developed in the new hospital. I see uh, Farmacia Guadalajara is coming in. Yes, but those are areas are commercial. Places. Yes. The hospital has uh, is going to build in a second stage, in a second... Uh, a second floor a above? Second, a third, yes, a second floor. Yeah. <clears throat> with another 10 rooms and a lot of other services. So, how many different doctors will be coming and going? Well, right now around 15 to 20. Different specialists? Yeah. Yeah. Different specialists. And, uh, I, you know, I've known you for many years. You're a GP, but do you have a specialty? No, I'm internal medicine. You're G I'm internal medicine. Internal medicine mm -hmm. is your specialty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you are Dr. Carlos Garcia. That's absolutely right. Oh, okay. Oh, for the privacy curtain. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. I thought it was going to be electric. You were going to push a button. <laughs> come, on, come on, I'm telling everybody it's a brand new hospital. It's so modern. <laughs> but it's working, right? <laughs> we'll be that, that uh, with this heat you can have a little sweating and it could be a little rash and a little fungus oh, but and uh, depressed for example mm -hmm. but uh, it's not often but if that happens just let me know and we give you a cream well, I know everybody is going to be worried and asking about how you are, so it's been two days now. How are we doing? I'm doing much better, thank you. Good. You still have that wrap on. We've taken it off and had showers and put it back on, and it helps yeah. It helps with the pain to keep your ribs from moving? I'm, I'm not sure because I haven't had it off. Well, today you haven't, but we had it off yesterday. So anyway... 
Glad you're doing better. Thank you. How about a smile? And uh, since breathing is a problem with ribs, I'm not going to ask you to do a song today. Only hurts when you laugh? No. Hurts all the time, huh? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for doing this. Yes. So, let's talk about how much did this cost. Well, first of all, we went to uh, an older clinic that's no longer used because they still have an x-ray machine there and this was on the weekend and another place that we might go to wasn't open. So we went to um, Moscow's clinic and we got an x-ray. And that x-ray was 450 pesos. And I've calculated this into US dollars for you at an exchange rate today of 19 pesos to one US dollar. The cost of the first x-ray was 450 pesos, and I've calculated that at uh, 24 U.S. dollars. Now, the doctor wasn't happy with that first x-ray. It was kind of at an oblique angle, and um, he needed a different angle. So we went back to the x-ray machine, and she and the doctor talked to each other on the cell phone, and he described exactly how he wanted her to take the x-rays and she took two more x-rays. So we have three x-rays here. Because the doctor was not happy with the first x-ray, we were not charged for the next two x-rays. Did that ever happen in the United States? No, you'd be paying for three x-rays and you'd also be paying a separate bill for three readings by a radiologist and you pay by the x-ray. Uh, the doctor. The doctor's bill was for 700 pesos and I've calculated that at 36 US dollars. 36 US dollars for what you went to the doctor with us to see happened. And again, if you're in the United States you wouldn't be getting a bill just from the doctor. You'd be getting a bill from the doctor. You'd also be getting a bill from the hospital. Yes, you would. Uh, there was another charge. You saw them wrapping her with these. He gave me an extra one for when the first one gets dirty. And the charge for these two things, including the clips, was 106 pesos, which I calculate at $5.57, that's uh, about $2.75 each. And I don't know what these cost in the United States. But I guarantee you, if somebody charged me $2.75 for one of these in the United States, it would knock my socks off being that cheap. So, the total there is $24 plus $36 plus $5.57. That's 24 and 36 is... 60, $65.57 to go to the hospital with a broken rib and come home patched up. Now in the United States, you'd have gotten a bill from uh, the x-ray and the x-ray technician, and you've gotten a bill from the radiologist that reads the x-rays, and you would have gotten a bill from the hospital, and you would have gotten a bill from the doctor, and you would have gotten a bill for whatever these things are. Supplies. That's five. Five bills you'd get. $65.57 total. That's Mexico. I just want to follow this up with a couple of things. First of all, um, uh, you should know that uh, if you've watched my videos for a while that Lynn has been a chronic back pain patient for many, many years and the pain medications that she normally takes are actually stronger than the ones that would be prescribed for this situation. So. Um, just a note on that, she has plenty of pain meds.
I also wanted to thank all of those of you who left me a comment from my last video when we talked about my list of videos that I would like to make. Uh, many very good suggestions that got me excited about making videos uh, were forthcoming and I've put them on the list. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, I also appreciated the um, comments that uh, seem to have struck a chord with uh, things I already had on my list. So um, if you're one of those who said, hey, I'd like to hear about that, stay tuned. I'm um, reinvigorated about making videos. I was kind of running out of energy for picking something to talk about, and now I have a list that's as long as my arm. So anyway, thanks a lot. And um, don't worry about Lynn. She's a tough girl. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.